welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to uh, do the identity access management and the reason is that uh, you see this is the root user just like in Linux the AWS uh, deals with root users as the super user and and then you need different users uh, for like you can have granular control if you have other users uh, that they can perform daily tasks and they don't have as much power as a root user would and uh, if you want if you have a big team everybody managing your AWS then definitely you need that so for that uh, we're gonna do the it's uh, we can do that but it's going to be a two-part video first I'm gonna do that uh, for the root user I need to set up multi-factor uh, uh, authentication MFA I'm gonna go that go through that in the first video and the second video we will do this uh, create a user so user user are just like in Windows uh, Active Directory that you have users their roles permissions and you know policies so I believe in AWS they uh, they are roles and for the permissions they call it policies uh, like uh, Amazon wide it's called policies whatever the permissions you need and then uh, uh, there are groups as well so over there there are organizational units uh, in active directory over here this being uh, called uh, groups so we're gonna do that uh, next on this video so let's go and uh, I'm gonna log in I don't want you uh, I don't want to capture my login on video so I'm gonna pause the video log into AWS and then I will go uh, to uh, IAM all right so I'm logged into my AWS console uh, you can see that these are the recently visited services we and down below there are the all services so we have to we're looking for security identity and compliance there is the IAM right there but uh, like I said we are looking for MFA the multi-factor authentication so we're gonna do that for the root users later down the road we will enable or you know make a video on an MFA for a normal user so you have to click on activate MFA and it's giving you different option uh, multiple token hardware MFA device YubiKey or any other compliant UTF we use uh, YubiKey uh, uh, at work and virtual MFA device being an app so we can we have, for our purpose like uh, since uh, I don't have a YubiKey for myself I have one for work and since it's my personal account I'm gonna go with the virtual MFA device being an app and on the next screen you just have to uh, go with this but let's see the uh, apps like uh, what apps are uh, what apps we can use there are different at the duo mobile uh, last Mo last pass Microsoft Authenticator and Google Authenticator that uh, is a good uh, like a nice uh, uh, surprise I use both of these for personal things uh, so I'm gonna go and install or open an app on my phone uh, actually it's my brand new phone so I, I believe I have to install both of them uh, my on my old phone it has so I'm gonna pause the video again here I don't want you to wait while I'm installing it all right so I've installed the video uh, oh, sorry the app on my phone I'm gonna quickly scan this uh, QR code first just click on the show QR code scan it on the phone and you have that uh, code I'm gonna add the code here and I believe I have to wait for it to go through and give me the another code just so I'm just waiting for it on the app it says Amazon Web Services root account something something so let's see and that work so you have to wait for thir uh, about 30 seconds for uh, the Google Authenticator app to give you another another code 
access code and you enter both of them and it verifies you and I have successfully assigned virtual MFA I need to edit this all right so if we go it says uh, go back to security credentials it's saying virtually and there it is it's been done let's uh, wrap this video here and uh, in the next video we're gonna go about these groups users roles policies and we're gonna create a user uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one